One time years ago, back in around 1959, I think it was, uh, Henry Mancini had written the music for this popular TV show called Peter Gunn. And it was the first time on television where they used a jazz score throughout the whole show. And it made uh, Henry Mancini famous. It actually created a big time career for him. Later on, he went into writing for movies and stuff. Uh, there was one thing that he had written for the show that they used to use. At some point, there was usually somebody who was murdered in the show. So you would see the person murdered, and then they would focus on the body or something. And then as it faded away, you would hear this guitar, and it would play an arpeggio. And it, it was like boom, 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 boom. And it was one note at a time until it got to the last part of it and it was a, uh, a double stop where they played two notes at simultaneously. It was really neat and uh, created a, a per perfect you know mood for for after seeing the body and all and then it cut away to a commercial. So somebody had shown me what it was and it was a, a minor 11th chord but it was voiced in such a way that it was a little bit unusual because the 11th, uh, instead of the way it's usually voiced on the top of the chord, it was voiced in one of the inner voices, uh, which made it sound somewhat different. It was real cool, anyway. So this guy showed me, and I don't remember who it was, and he showed me on the piano, and he put it in F minor, F and F minor 11th chord. So. One day I was teaching at Temple University and I had this ensemble that I used to coach. And uh, there was a guitar player in the ensemble, his name is Nate Kahn, and he's a friend of mine to this day. This is back in the 80s. Uh, anyway, I don't know what made me think of it, but I wanted to show Nate what the arpeggio was. And he didn't, he, he didn't have any knowledge of the history of the show or anything like that. I just told him, I said, oh, it was, real cool voicing mm -hmm. and I'm showing him and he said you can't play that you couldn't play it on the guitar and I said you know what Nate of course you can play it I, I used to hear it all the time I, every week it was on <laughs> and he said I'm telling you I can't I can't play it because I had given him all the notes and uh, he said can't play it impossible <laughs> so, so anyway I left school and the very next thing I had to do was to go to New Jersey like a, a half hour later to go play a gig. I was hired to play a cocktail party and uh, it was at a place, the Hyatt Hotel in, in New Jersey, uh, which is now a Crown Plaza. So anyway, I go over there and uh, we had a band, might have been like six or seven pieces of the band. And it turns out we're playing this cocktail party for, it was West Jersey Hospital. And every year they used to have this big event to start out with a cocktail party. And then they would have a big show. It was like, and, and I had played it once before where Tony Bennett was oh, wow. the show, show headliner. So it's, this year, coincidentally, it turns <laughs> out that the star of the show was Henry Mancini. I mean, how much of a coincidence is that? Like, I'm just, I just finished, like, telling Nate about, oh, Henry Mancini wrote this thing. I go to my gig, it's like an hour and a half later, and Henry Mancini, you know. <laughs> so, we played our set, we come out, and Henry Mancini is standing there, he's got a tuxedo on, and he has a baton in his hand, and he's waiting to go on, and, uh, you know, he's standing back, waiting to be called on, the show's gonna start like in 10 minutes or something like that. And Henry Mancini was one of my idols, I still is, I, I just love his music and I think he was just the greatest. So I thought, gee, there's Henry Mancini, I'm gonna go up and tell him, you know. And I go up and I said, Mr. Mancini, and right away I could tell that he was, he didn't want to be bothered, you know, mm -hmm. he was annoyed. <laughs> and I told him, like, I said, you're one of my favorite, and I'm blah, 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 and tell him how much I think so highly of him. And I'm thinking, and he's like, 
you know, I could just sort of feel, <laughs> get this vibe, like, why don't this guy go away, you know? <laughs> so I said, I'm getting the feeling like I better, I better leave. But before I do, I said, I, I was just telling my guitar player in my ensemble about the F minor 11th chord, and I, and I tell him the whole story, and he, uh, I said, he said he can't play it. So uh, Henry Mancini looks at me and he says, I just write them, I don't have to play them. <laughs> and said it like that and sort of cut me <gasps> off, you know. I said, oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> and I walked away. And I walked about 20 feet away and I'm standing talking with some friends. And this just goes to show you about the way musicians are. It, it, no matter that he was annoyed with me disturbing his peace, but he probably couldn't take his mind off. Why didn't it, why couldn't that guitar player play it? Why couldn't he get off? So finally, after a while, he, I hear this pss, 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 pss. <laughs> And I look over and it's Henry Mancini and he's motioning to me. And I walk over and I say, yes. And he said, it was E minor 11, not F minor 11. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, oh, thank you. <laughs> So next week I go back to school and I see Nate and I said, Nate, you remember that arpeggio? And he said, yeah, the F minor 11th, you can't play it. I've told you, you can't play it. Try it E minor 11th. And he said, oh yeah, all open strings. And it was real easy and he played it right away. The chord. And that was the that was the story, you know. So uh, anyway, that's what the, the Henry Mancini story. Did you ever see him again? No, I never saw him again. <laughs> I still idolize the guy. He was probably, I, you know, he was like anxious to go on, and I guess he had his mind on something about the music. And here's this guy coming up, bugging him about, you know, an F minor <laughs> eleventh chord. But uh, at the time, I felt like I was pretty shot down. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was Henry Mancini. He's still he's still one of my favorites. Mm -hmm.